So we got something brand new coming to you guys today. As you guys can see, it's your boy Rick. It's your boy Limbo and over there. Yep, I'll let him introduce yeah. himself in a little bit. But we got something brand new coming today to try to just talk about the gaming world in general. Kind of talk about Call of Duty, our personal lives, just everything in between. Just something new that you guys can enjoy. And I don't know if you guys want to call this a podcast. I don't know if you want to call this a podcast, Limbo. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, don't I mean, know. I just feel like exactly. I just feel like it's gonna be something interesting to do, something a little different. Get away from the Call of Duty. Get away from the bullshit. So I just want to start off by Limbo introducing himself, having him kind of just explain who he is, how he even. I don't even remember how we linked up or how we even I, I figured. I kind of do. Yeah, I'll let you explain it. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. So. My name is Limbo. I've been doing YouTube for three years and started doing Call of Duty videos around, honestly, probably the worst Call of Duty game of all time, Modern Warfare 2. Um, oh, but okay. did that for a couple months, but Modern Warfare 3, I came back. And how we met, I, I remember it vividly because by the time I came back from like this little mini break I had, right, um, from doing YouTube and playing Call of Duty again, all, I realized like a lot of the people that I was watching were reverse boosting, faking their content. And it was just like 20, 30 minute videos of yep. a, a loadout I could have made myself. And exactly. then I saw a video. I, I think it was on um, Pro MVZ, whatever, whatever the guy's username is, bro. Guys, guys, a sweat. It's not even that good. But um, it was for a 1v1 in the future, it seems like. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you were talking about him and saying that you were a subscriber of his and a viewer of his, and you realized how fake his videos were. Yep. yep. And I commented down, I subscribed, I'm like, yo, I like the content. And literally since then, uh, we connected, freaking played on your stream. We played on my stream. We talked about the game, we talked about life. I was in your streams and all that stuff. And eventually you started watching my videos and I was in your streams more. And now we're here. Now we're talking about. I got. I love it. Whatever. We got this podcast thing going yeah. on. I know exactly what video you're talking about. That video, dude. I remember it was. It was the intro. Everything. I go back to it all the time. It's got like thirty-seven thousand views or something like that. And I go mm -hmm. back to it and I look at how far I've come from my, my standpoint on reverse boost. I was trying to go at it at a way as nice as possible because I saw him. He had like five hundred and forty something thousand subscribers at this time. And I liked right. watching him. Like, I liked watching him, but I realized, like, so quick that it is, like, the most embarrassing lobbies I've ever seen in my life. So I was still yeah. trying to go a little soft, a little, like, eh, you know, I'm just calling it out. Had a lot of great reactions. And for some reason, when I went into one of his live streams, when he's actually fucking live, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know, this guy does not fucking go live. <laughs> He's live right now. I bet you right now he's probably live. It's fucking pre-recorded bullshit. It's pre-recorded. Oh, it pisses me off because it goes from gameplay to gameplay. No in between. It's like a fucking boom. And it's right next mm -hmm. to the, I mean, oh, oh my God. And then like the shipment's still the old shipment from launch shipment, yeah. when it's mm -hmm. fucking ship miss or sell ship right now. But the UI doesn't even match to what it is yeah, now. Yeah, but just like besides the point, I, that's when I started to trigger it on as a commentator try to trigger it on as to like, okay, this fucking matters to me because a lot of people agree. And I think that video has like over, I got so many subscribers from that. And I was like, this is something that I actually am passionate about because it is fake ass bullshit. So I'm so glad that it is. I didn't know when you met me to me. So, I, so when we asked that question, I'm so glad that we were able to actually figure it out and have you explain when because that's that's awesome because that was that was over five months ago that was a long time ago man we've, long we've come ago. a long way both of us mm -hmm. since then we're still going and uh yeah. here we are so it's awesome i'm 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 gonna introduce myself to anybody who doesn't know the fucking rick because yes, i don't sir. know if anybody that you know anybody that's seen limbo's video here because he's gonna post on his channel as well just in case if you don't know i started youtube about seven months ago and uh Basically, I fell in love with doing this because uh, I always grew up watching some insane Call of Duty content. But that was when Call of Duty content was at the height, at the peak. You know, Optic Nade Shot, Optic Scumpy. Uh, you know, when I started watching was actually Elite Shot within Call of Duty Ghosts. And he's not really... He's just more of a streamer now, which kind of sucks because he was back in the day. He was doing all these live with Elite Shot, all these amazing gameplay so that was the prime but 
You know, I saw them. I always wanted to do it, but I never got fully engaged until about seven months ago. So, um, mm-hmm. so I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm here to expose any motherfucker that is fake as shit. And I'm here. I don't give a fuck. And I'm here to talk shit about stuff that needs to be fixed because we all we know damn out. well. Yeah, we all know damn well that this game could be way better than what it is because the potential's there, but the people that are doing it, they're not right for the job. So that's what yeah. I want to say about that. But so I want to ask I, you, I want to ask you mm-hmm. before we get into our favorite call of duties, before we slowly get into more and more topics down this podcast or this video today. Who are the people that made you want to do Call of Duty content? Call of Duty specifically. So I got into Call of Duty at four years old. I'm born in 2005. Young ass motherfucker. This guy's young as hell. Ladies <laughs> yeah. and gentlemen, I was born in 2000. So I, I feel older every single day. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, you're Crazy. good. So I, I lived with my cousins. Um, like we had one house. They had downstairs. We had upstairs. And he had an Xbox 360. And... He got it around the time Modern Warfare 2 came out. Beautiful. So he had Modern Warfare 2. And he put me on to Call of Duty. And since then, I've played literally every Call of Duty since, except for Vanguard. Um, Why is that? But Why is that? I sold my PS4 for a PC. And then my PC was not good enough to run Call of Duty. Wow. Ah, you didn't miss much. You didn't miss yeah, much. It, it was, was a good it, game, it but bad. you didn't it miss was, much. It was, yeah, it wasn't really... Uh, received well but yeah. i'm glad i missed it but i got into creating call of duty content because i came from fortnite i know it's fortnite kids game that's crazy but i grew up that's with, crazy I, grew up with it. I was what i think 13 yeah 12 years old when it yep. came out yep yep and i played the game for six years straight up until i realized i'm not that good at the game i mean i was but i, I was never going to be a pro so i went to call of duty content because i hadn't played it in a long time and i had experience in editing and making thumbnails for other games like Fortnite and like Minecraft and stuff. And I've been creating Call of Duty content since what I said in the intro, like Modern Warfare 2. But that's how I got into content, just creating Call of Duty content. And then now talking about what I do, like with, um, you know, these fake creators and all the BS within the, the content creation community. But yeah. Sweet. So what about you, man, I mean, like I said, through like, recently what really made me start recently mm-hmm. was seeing videos i don't know if you know fully i watch fully yeah, no. he's got about like twenty five thousand subscribers he's kind of a guy i i i started watching with then i think my over two so i saw his uh his way he's kind of like he's kind of like does what i do um mm-hmm. you know he, he says what needs to be fixed but he's got more of a uh I don't know. I'm pretty ruthless in some of my videos, but it's <laughs> yeah. every single one of his videos. He's funny as hell. I, I, I would love to be possibly able to do something with him in the future, but um, he, I started watching him. I liked what he did. And I mean, recently I just saw it. I was like this, there's nothing, there's nothing out there right now that what I saw that is in my opinion, anything good content. You know, I don't, I don't watch blame truth. Um, I know everybody mm-hmm. tries to say that I'm like him or I'm trying to be him. That's somebody like that people to comment down trying to make me feel bad about myself like okay yeah i i don't i'm not feeling bad about being told i I'm, I'm like somebody else i'm not anybody but the fucking rick i mean the fuck you doing <laughs> yeah but the fuck you doing <laughs> um but honestly like just i just looked around i was like there's nothing at least from the top people i saw that's that's anything like the old days and mm-hmm. we all knew that the call of duty has been going downhill so I'm like, why not fucking talk shit about what could easily be fixed? Because it's an easy switch. It's an easy flip of a button yeah. or or algorithm change, whatever you got to do. Fucking simple. But nobody over there in, in California, over there at Activision Studios, Activision, whatever the fuck they're called, um, they, they're, they don't know what's going on over there and they don't feel like changing it. But I mean, that's what we're going to be talking about today because we got some wonderful results within yeah. shit like Definitely that. But. Do. But before we get into that, I'm going down just the topics that we chose. And mm-hmm. why do you think it's so important to to expose in our in our in our words fake content? Like let's be real, ladies and gentlemen, fake content to us is people that are reverse boosting, two boxing, VPN, whatever you want to call it, in my words, cheating. Uh that that's fake content. And we explain that why it's fake content because it is not real gameplay. We all know skill-based matchmaking is out there, EOMM. 
and anybody that tries to go around that, which yes, it sucks. We hate skill based matchmaking as well. I I wish we could go back to the normal days where it's just you you click find a match and it takes three seconds to get in one. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's not the world we live in today. So unfortunately, everybody should have to deal with it. And why do you think it's important to expose that? Because as a viewer, like it feels like you're being lied to. Yep. It feels like you're being lied to, and like also you think these people are good, but when they go against people that are the same skill or even better than them, right? They're not going to be like that. Like for me and you consistently, we are the top of the leaderboard every game. If we're playing with viewers, if we're not playing with viewers, if we're playing by ourselves, we are always at the top. Yeah. Sometimes I get shit on, bro. I'm not going to cap. Sometimes I get shit on. (laughs) The thing is like, we're all, we're always on the top. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, collecting tags, getting kills, getting kill streaks, all that stuff. We have our moments where we dominate. You put someone like Mark of a hero, X Pro MVZ in our lobbies with or without viewers, I'm telling you, they're not performing how they do in their videos. They're going to have people doing movement, you know, shooting back at them, all types of different players. All they have is people that just walk forward and shoot. As a viewer, when did you feel like you're being lied to about somebody's skill? It's like this on a leaderboard, it says something like, you know, this guy has a thousand kills. You play against him, he's, he's, he's bad. He's a bad player. Wouldn't you feel like you're being lied to about that player? And I, I feel like it's important for, you know, people to call out the fake content because we want to see real games, real gameplay to see who's actually truly good at the game and see like actual entertaining videos because half of the half of their videos is them playing the game against bots, right? Doing whatever method to box VPN and they're just getting kills and these kill streaks and it's not entertaining they're not having moments where they actually have to clutch up or hit their shots or they're about to die and all that stuff you see all those moments for me and rick's streams and videos and i feel like it's important to call out these creators that do this because a lot of people don't want to don't want to be lied to you know you guys see why i like this guy the fire just in that in that entire <laughs> answer that is why I like this dude. Like the more I talk to him, the more I actually play with him. I could see literally, I don't want to say myself, but I could see the exact same thing. Like if I was running for president, if you call me Donald Trump, all right, let's pretend I'm Donald <laughs> Trump. This is my JD Vance right here, bro. You know what I mean? He's my VP choice. Like he's like, if I go down, if I, if that bullet hits me, I mean, this is the guy I want running. Right you know here. what I'm, I'm talking right about, here. bro? So I love to hear that, man, because it, it is, it is important and again, everybody gets it so fucking twisted, especially in the comment section. They've got people saying like, this is what we want to see. High kills, high kills, this high kills, that ladies and gentlemen, it is not difficult if you play in real skill based matchmaking to get a high kill gameplay. You got to just work yeah. for it. The lazy mm-hmm. content, we can call it fake lazy content, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same, but we all know that they just want to get it in. They want to get out. I got, I remember X promo Z when I was in his live stream that one day. When he was actually live, you know, <laughs> yeah, very uh, rare. Telling me that he literally wanted to get three gameplays, get on, get off, because the guy doesn't love Call of Duty. Why the fuck should that guy be making just, Call of Duty content? You know what I mean? He's just there for the money. Like, he's just there for the money. And everyone says it's just a video game. Everybody has their hobbies. You got people that make golf videos. You got people that make videos on politics. You got videos of people that make videos on cars. Everyone has their hobby. This is our hobby. Sorry if you don't like it or if you're mad that I care so much about a video game. Don't fucking watch the video about a video game. <laughs> you know what I mean? A watch grown something ass, else. Watch something watch else. Something else. And they're like a grown ass man bitching and complaining about a video game or or the way people play it. Yeah, because I grew up on this shit. When something goes to shit, you get passionate about it. Simple as that. Simple as yeah, that. And, but and I that mean, that's literally for everything in the world. Everything. Everything. Like for example. I, I don't like politics. I don't watch or talk about it, you know, yep. and I'm not going to complain to other people that are actually into it. Yes. I'm exactly. not going to tell them to stop saying it because that's if that's what they like to talk about. Good for them. It's hard for people to find things that they actually like and want to, you know, that they're passionate about. So why even like even shit on them for it? You and, know? If you, and if you're going to make content, wouldn't you want somebody to be passionate about that content? You yeah. know what I mean? And like why? Which a lot of the creators are not. That's what, really not, that's what I'm they're saying. That's what I'm saying. They're there for one or two games, and then they just they literally spread it out. They literally just upload it. It's like it's whatever. People are gonna watch anyways, you know. I don't know, man. I, I've I've always been on the input that if you just post gameplay videos, you don't care about. I don't want to say that actually. Let me let me let me flip that around. 
I feel like if you're going to be a Call of Duty content creator, you better be able to know how to do a commentary. Whether it's it's talking about your own life, whether it's talking about the game, whether it's talking about anything. If you can't do a commentary and you just sit there and get good gameplays, yeah, you're going to have some people that like watching that. But it is is at the point where like you should care enough about a game to their to therefore just fucking make a commentary about it and, and be able to do stuff like that. Because back in the day, that's all we had. You know, they yeah. had gameplays, but there was no one talking. But they had commentary videos, and those were like the OG ones. Now, they sounded like shit. You go back and you watch them. <laughs> oh, my God. The, yeah. The, the talking. And I watch Blame Juice old videos. I was just watching literally like two days ago because I just was like, I want to see the difference. <laughs> oh, my God. The commentaries are terrible. But, I mean, I'd rather have that than someone just having an intro, showing the gun class, and then just playing. You know it, what I mean? Like, literally, yeah. There's it's no effort. There's no effort in it. There's no, no effort, effort at all. They literally get on for like a 10 minute game and then get off and then just record the intro. It's like this. It's like this. Ready? Three, two, one. Hey guys, we got an insane MCW class set up. I hope you guys enjoy. Class set up at the end. Drop a like, subscribe. Make sure to watch all the way for this insane three nuke, totally legit lobby. And they just do a cut and they're like this. They're just standing here. Literally nothing said. And we're like, oh yeah, I killed that guy. I killed that guy. I did such a good job killing at somebody that doesn't even know how to do a move or a slide cancel. I'm so good at the game, guys. How? Like how, 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 like you're, if you're a content creator that just does gameplay videos and just shows off class setups and you're, you know, quote unquote good in the game, why don't you become a pro? Why don't you become a pro player? Show your actual skill for this good at the game. I'm gonna get shit on. Don't make this like, yeah, like, come on, man. Let me be and real like the, though. I, I, off, uh, out of everyone that I called out, I'm not going to lie. Uh, the only one I will say is very good. And it's why I called him out first was X pro MVZ because when you watch him, <clears throat> okay. I have become a little bit more sus about him ever since I've watched him more and more. And I just mm -hmm. see his aim. For somebody that doesn't play that much, I do see his aim. And I'm like, maybe that's why he doesn't live stream. I'm not saying he's hacking. I'm not saying that. But he, when he actually plays, is actually very good if he's all legit. So that's why I'm like, why do you not just fucking post some good-ass gameplays against real people and just play? These other people, yeah. Mark of Hero is one of the worst fucking players I've ever seen in my life for, for somebody dude. with AKD. Get me Bro. the fuck out, dude. I'm telling you, I'll stand by it. I'm still waiting for a response on 1v1. The, the dude won't do it. But I watch him, dude. and I'm like, dude, like, what the... First of all, I don't understand. I don't understand what makes people want to watch him. You know what I mean? Like, a 30-minute yeah. fucking video. It's a seven-minute intro. And then it's just shit fucking <laughs> players in the lobbies. It just cuts right to it. And and there's nothing entertaining about the guy. I'm not I'm not going personal here, but it kind of I you know, maybe I am. I don't give a fuck. There's nothing entertaining about the dude. I don't know what headset he's got. He's got to figure it out. It's a terrible headset. Number one, stop making me laugh, bro. Let me let me get let me get this off. It's done charging. Number two, it's just I don't know. I don't know. This shit needs to change. And it does. You could see how passionate we are because this is this this is why I fuck with this guy. And why I want him to keep growing because he deserves it. And it's why we wanted to make this little, you know, I don't know if we're doing it weekly or whenever the hell we feel like talking about stuff type of videos. I feel like it's going to be a lot of fun. And, um, you know, having his input as well as mine, two people, you know, although they're very mm -hmm. similar, why not do it? So um, I don't know if you want to go into the first real topic um, because you were kind of reading it a little bit more than me. I know I've seen it out there on YouTube, but I feel like it's going to be something that everybody's going to want to hear the input on. So um, I'll let you take away with that. Um, Yeah. I mean, the Activision and skill-based matchmaking thing that they talked about literally yesterday was just insane, bro. Insane. They, if you didn't read the full 25 documents, like I did literally just like an hour ago before doing this and or watch any other video explaining it, it basically says that, they have a system that determines skill and determines the matchmaking and also that skill-based matchmaking is here to stay for Black Ops 6, right? But just to kind of like go more in depth to it, um, the document goes into what, how and what skill does and plays a part of for matchmaking. And they use five things to determine skill Activision does. And this is the system um, that they want using they want to have two values there's going to be a high and low point and those values are basically constrained they move up and down 
sometimes, but skill is determined between those two points, you know, either in the middle, closer to the higher point or closer to the lower point. Right. And then for their, uh, for Activision's the, uh, skill determination system, they use a predictive factor and it's basically, uh, this also the Rick's first time hearing about it. It's basically used as a, uh, reliable predictor for your future performance in games. So the skill system, right, that determines your skill has a, a factor that tries to predict how you will do in other games in the future. And then thirdly, they sum up all the players in the lobby skill. And then, then with that number or whatever they do, uh, they try to balance out the teams that way. And then fourth, this is probably the biggest one. Um, they want their system to be able to adapt to a player's ever-changing performance in games quickly, right? And that is basically skill-based matchmaking. So you could reverse boost, and your skill, you know, whatever the system they're using to determine your skill will get messed up. And they don't know where to place you, so they'll place you wherever you, you know, did with the reverse boosted game last. So you just have worse games. And then finally, uh, they want the system to be resilient. Overall skill distribution should remain accurate in all situations for the games. So let's say you do bad in a TDM and you switch over to kill confirmed or domination. They will place you in lobbies with worse players that performed the same way that you did, no matter what game mode it is. So that's why maybe skill based matchmaking is the same throughout multiplayer and in Warzone. Right. And it also goes over how skill is calculated. And basically, Activision said uh, a player's skill is determined and calculated by the player's relative performance on a specific, um, fuck, I forgot the word, metric. <laughs> there we go. That's <laughs> the word. But they do this after every match. So as soon as you load back into the lobby, all the info that you did or whatever you did in the game, how many kills, your deaths, assists, how you played, you know, all that stuff is determined. Player progression and total time spent on the game is not factored or used into into oh my god determining someone's skill. Right. So reverse boosting is, is real. This is this is clear proof that reverse boosting is re real and it works. Because let's say for five games you just reverse boost, you go ultra negative, and you just do complete ass. You play like a bot. Maybe for for the next five games that you have and you actually try. You're going to have better lobbies, essentially. You're going to have more bot players, players that don't play the game, players that you're not supposed to be skilled up with. And they also said that every player's skill rating, right? Every player has a skill rating. It changes quickly and activation waits for a balance to be found within the player to fully determine their skill. So this even confirms that reverse boosting will work even more. Because if you reverse boost one game and the next game you pop off, the skill rating will be messed up so they don't know where to place you. And it will always be random. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Rick. Yeah. So but let's I'm just going to go, go off ahead. and say I know I'm, most people when we say reverse boosting there's many different ways of doing this. You have the OG yeah. way where people literally I think it was advanced warfare when I literally started seeing it first. I think that yeah. where people were just mm -hmm. fucking destroying their KD, killing it. They, you would get into a game, they're killing themselves, killing themselves. You see that once in a while in your lobbies now, but majority of people reverse boosting are two boxing where they get another account. Yeah. Absolutely shit that they, they literally probably have zero kills on that account. It's probably like level 10 somehow just getting caps mm -hmm. and, and leveling Negative up KD, that way. Yeah, never plays. Absolutely yeah. disgusting. And then they join that account. And then when they get in the game, they back that account out. So yeah. that's why when you see mm -hmm. all these top content creators, every time the game starts, there's never six people on the team. Never. It is always at least five because they back that account out right when they get in the game. That way they know for sure that, you know, as many people like the skill based smash make whatever algorithm is perfect then they back him out and then someone else will later fill in that spot yeah. but there's two different ways but he's explained you know the way of if you just absolutely destroy your own accounts kd <laughs> yeah. which most of these top content creators if not all do not do that because they all have high kds on their accounts so it's actually like you mm -hmm. know that you know damn well they're two boxing because yeah it's just it's they so hide screen Hi they hide in the screen hide in the screen if you get in a fucking live stream ladies and gentlemen and they hide their screen. Get the fuck out now! I'm telling you, there, it's not gonna, it's not gonna look like anything that you play with or any of your life. It's not. So just bounce, bounce. If they're not showing the screen 24/7, 
or not at least have it where you can see their screen if they switch to another you know whatever view of obs get out yeah okay my bad i, I just had to make sure that we understood no, that it's all good. different the, types yeah, of reverse that, yeah because it's called two boxing where you get literally a console or another pc and you join an account but it's i call it reverse boost it's all the fucking mm-hmm. same you're verse boosting account so i've seen on live stream some call of duty like uh like big call of duty creators like c preds right i know him from through twitter i like his videos a lot on stream he's asking people you know, like guys, can anyone get in get in, get in a party with me, queue up, and then just leave the game for me so I can get this gameplay, right? But like, the problem that we have, and you explained it in your most recent video, like Marksman, he says that he you know reverse boosted or you and know it's very rare too. It's just like yeah. it's like one video every month or something. Very rare. Mm-hmm. Maybe not like, even. W- I think if if the creator themselves even like it tell exposes themselves and all that stuff, right, and talks about it, like yeah, I do this. Then I think it's fine, right? To a certain extent, right? Don't say that you're the best player or this is the best class setup. If you're, pl- if you're playing against absolute bots, right? But people who say like, "Oh no, I don't, I don't do it at all," or like, "No, you lie, you don't even know what you're talking about." Those are the people that we we want to call out. Yeah. So they they, 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 they deserve it. They deserve it because because if I and I got so many I got so many people that claim that I'm the one doing this and I'm just call- it's like you know people that hack and then they call out other hackers they're saying I'm doing it mm-hmm. fucking watch a live stream watch yeah. a fucking live stream I will never and I get nukes in or DNA bombs I used to get DNA bombs now they're called nukes and yeah, whatever they're called. <laughs> I, I, I fucking I, I do that on live stream and I do it off stream so like nothing changes my my gameplay doesn't all of a sudden get fucking better off stream you know sometimes I might have a fucking insane gameplay. I'm not streaming, but I also posted where I am streaming and absolutely shit on dudes. It's all the yeah. same. It's never like when people go to LAN and they get fucking shit on, but at home, they're all of a sudden like 30, 40 kills in war zone. We all know how this shit goes. So yeah. we just, you have to be able to call it out. You got to have the fucking nuts. If you're going to be, you got to have some nuts now, man. I love seeing when other content creators will actually do it because a lot of people are scared. They see that big subscriber count, they're scared. I don't give a shit. I mm-hmm. do not care. Yeah. If Swag ends up being actually cheating, which I don't watch him, but I keep I seeing people. Call, I don't. I don't watch him because I, I got on his live stream one time and that dude didn't say a word for 15 minutes straight. He wasn't even playing the game. I'm like, what am I watching here? But <laughs> like, but I, that's another whole other issue. That's another topic we could talk about. But mm-hmm. um, I, I'm not gonna. I'll call him out if if for somehow some way. I see it. Now, I know he reversed boosts back in the day, but he doesn't play multiplayer anymore. So, what, well, I don't care about Warzone right now. I don't give a fuck because yeah. I hate Warzone in general. Dude, I, Warzone the, content. The community. Oh, my God. Warzone content is, is the absolute worst, but we're not going to get it's into that. It's the same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it's, it's, I mean, it's so bad. I mean, anytime I see a solo quad win, like 40, 50 kill, get the fuck out. 50 it's kill gameplay with it's the a, insane weapon. The dude you probably, try it out now. They probably had two or three bot accounts join them and back them all out. That's probably how they got... I don't know, but mm-hmm. oh my god, it's so frustrating. So yeah, I know that's a fucking it, it video is. game, and I get my blood pressure raised up on it. But it's just like it's just it's in my it's like stealing in my opinion. It's stealing mm-hmm. in my I don't know how to explain that, but I don't know. No, I, I get what, I get what you feel. like. It's like supporting like a pyramid scheme. That's obviously a pyramid scheme, and like they're just lying to you. You yeah. know, like they're just taking your money, they're taking your time, and they're just making a buck off you. Oh, it's so gross, dude. It's disgusting. it's so gross, but. To get back on topic with the the Activision talking about SBMM again, they confirmed that skill based matchmaking is confirmed to stay for Black Ops Six and most likely for our, all the Call of Duties. Right? There's no reason to change it, and they basically said um, the reason why it's going to stay is because they ran a 14 day test for 14 days only, not not for an entire Call of Duty, not for an entire month, but for two fucking weeks. You're gonna test out no skill based matchmaking. Was that and not? Wasn't it, it during season two? I don't even know when it was. I, I, didn't, I think it was I, February. I, I think it was in February. I could be wrong. Yeah, but I know but, it was a very short test. Yeah. Yeah, it's a short test, bro. It's a short te- 14 days. Bro, we got people that have whole entire months played on this fucking game. Right? 14, a 14 day period makes no sense, but it, it's confirmed to stay. And it's just crazy to me how they even have to address it. They Like when a game company or publisher has to address something that is widely disliked, then that clearly tells you that it's not working out and that it that people want it gone. 
You know, am I, am I tweaking that they said that this has been around since Call of Duty Four? Yeah, they said it that was is such around, bullshit. That's BS. No fucking chance. There's no way. Even the good players, the good players back then, like you know, sniper like Grizz or like some of the face clamors or even Optic. For for Scump, example, remember he has this insane video on raid from BO2. Swipe Bannon. Yeah. 88 and 0. There's n- he literally did that every single game. He pump stomped every single game. And so you're telling me that Skillfish matchmaking was in that game? He would have gone against other pros that were on, bro. Here's all you it gotta makes no know. Sense. Here is all you gotta know. Go to Malfer 2, OG Malfer 2, right now today. Click find a match. It's the same exact speed as if it was back in the day. And there's less people playing it now. They, mm-hmm. they literally, yeah. you can literally probably they get, it. they literally fixed it. You could probably find a lobby back out, find a lobby back out probably about 10 or 15 times before you find one lobby in today's Call of Duty. And don't mm-hmm. even get me started in Modern Warfare 2 because nobody even wanted to play Modern Warfare 2 back, last year's Modern Warfare 2. So that mm-hmm. took even long. I remember I had times where it was almost 10 minutes long to find a fucking lobby. <laughs> and dude, like whenever I see the finding a match and my latency or ping or whatever is at 90, up. Yep. 90? Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me? And then they also go like out. That. I believe I also read or I watched a little bit of video on this shit because, but I, I just, it's not even worth my time watching at some points because, you know, like I know nothing's going to change. I, it's, yeah, I know it's lies. I know nothing's going to change because they love protecting these baby back bitches. But what was I, what was I just about to say? Dude, now I just, I went off point because I'm so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. Oh my god! See how passionate we are, bro. We're losing. Dude. Losing our train of thoughts over this stuff. Dude, man. I literally don't even remember what I was. I I got this energy drink and shit ain't fucking flying through my brain. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll, I'll learn what I was trying to say. But all I know is just skill based matchmaking is is not going anywhere. I know this for a fact because mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know when I don't know when Call of Duty ever thought it was going to be a good idea. Like, here's a simple thing. Definitely fix. advanced warfare. Definitely advanced warfare. Well, I, I remember that, but like, it wasn't even that crazy back then. It wasn't you know even that mean? crazy, yeah. And the launch of this game was by far the strongest I've ever experienced. But season five, the day it got updated or uploaded, whatever, Wednesday, mm-hmm. was, yeah. was it brought me back to the reason why I started making videos. Because I started making videos at how strong the SBMM was when, when mm-hmm. this game launched. And Wednesday, I could not even, I'm telling you, I got a 2.4 KD, okay? I'm not saying I'm the best. I never said I'm the best, but there, I'm, I'm usually always in the 2.5 KD range from for ever right. since, you know, the past month, okay? There was not one game in about eight or nine games where I got over a 2 KD on Wednesday because that's how strong. I had about two or three ranked skins on the enemy team at all times. They were always at least diamond. Most of them were crimson. You got a bunch of CDLs. Like the second you see that, yeah. you know, you know what it's going to be. And I don't mm-hmm. know what they did. And like we had this theory, like somebody in my comment and my, and my, one of my viewers when I was streaming saying that it was to protect all the people on Game Pass. And I'm it like, was, Holy. It, I think it was. It I mean, to, it, had, it to had to be because there was, the, you, it was, without a doubt, you could feel a change from mm-hmm. Tuesday night to, to Wednesday. Tuesday night, and it's yeah. a fucking Wednesday. I get it, man. Season five, but not. Not, not everyone. Not everyone's on hopping like that. on that, and most people are probably still on Warzone. Okay, not mm-hmm. nobody. I mean, maybe who knows? But it was different, and yeah. it's it's just disgusting because how does that make sense? I grew up without it. They want to say it was always back in the day. No, it wasn't. It was, it was always not. ping. It was always ping. You found a it match was. like this, and it, it it was just even back then we had better connection than we do today because we all yeah. know the servers are dog shit. The servers, are, the servers are ass right now. I, I never understood how a video game could get so scientific, so, so... So many like, factors playing into just it's matchmaking. A, it's a fucking video game, and I get it, man. I'm the one bitching about it, but holy shit. Boy, I just want to play. It. If somebody gets fucking <laughs> shit on, get better. They get shit on. Get, get better. better. Yeah. You know, and I'm talking and, about getting shit on, like, with using actual guns, okay? I get mm-hmm. fucking shit on by launchers, riot shields all the damn time. Get the fuck out of here. That's not what I'm talking I'm talking about normal <laughs> guns, SMGs, ARs, LMGs, some battle rifles, I guess, you can use. If you kill me like that, that's fine. But, oh my god, dude. Like, I, I just can't stand the dumb shit they do in this game. And that skill-based yeah. matchmaking is obviously the main thing. because It makes it worse. I can't name one person that loves it. There are some people that agree with it a little bit. And I, I might even agree with that, too. Maybe, like... I like what X Defiant did, or who knows? I don't fucking care about that game. 
<laughs> to like right level like rails. level like 55. Give it to them at le to level 55. If they can't figure it out till then, bounce them out of here. Let them get fucking molly whopped. I don't care. Yeah. Holy I, shit. I would I would rather see like a a time period like of a play if a person picks up the game, right? And they play for like a month a month, you know, on and off, right? If they play 15 times out of the 30 days that are in a month, let the, don't even let skill based matchmaking protect them. Let them get shit on. Let them have good games, bad games, all that stuff. Don't don't protect these players because, dude, when these bad players actually play against someone that's actually good, slide canceling, have meta weapons, meta class setups, you know, that's actually good, and they get shit on, like that should motivate someone to get better, bro. Like for sports, for sports, if you lose, if you lose a basketball game by twenty points, that makes you want to play better next time you play against that person. If it's just so annoying. It makes no sense how people Call of Duty try is, to protect it. Call of Duty. And how they keep it. Everybody wants to say Call of Duty is a relaxing game. It's any, not. Anybody playing Call of Duty is is playing any good player. Let's be real. And a lot of the people in the Call of Duty community are good now. Um, mm -hmm. And, and I, say, I say this year, what makes you good? I mean, there are people with like 1.3, 1.5 KDs that could fucking shit on me. They're not going to beat me. That's me. But, That's my KD right there. Yeah, they could, you know, I mean, I watched Limbo. The Limbo could fucking shit on lobbies. You know, that I mean, when he had his car 98 back when we 1v1, he fucking shot on me. You were, I mean, I know mm -hmm. you remember that, but like, I, I remember, yeah, yeah, I can get shit on by, by anybody with around a 1.3, 1.5 KD. Then you got the people above that and you got some people below that. The game alone is meant for, and I'm talking about like the average person here. The average person's good at video games now. And, that's because more people are doing it when they're younger. More people are playing them. More people are are just interested in first person shooters. Now, back in the day, not everybody was good. Yeah, I mean, not mm -hmm. everybody was good. It was just like you're either good or you're not. Now yeah, we have like three it. levels. You're you're average, which is like could shit on good players, but most likely will not win the game. You know, yeah, you're win really the game good or players. Beat them. You're really good mm -hmm. players and the absolute dog shit. Most people, eighty percent, are in the middle. Yeah, and. A lot of them say they want to play for relaxation. It's Call of Duty. There's no re it's not it's not a relaxing game. Especially mm -hmm. now. But like even if it was no skill based matchmaking, you would have to play like you would have to be focused to be able to play the game. Mm hmm Yeah. I mean, that's just I don't I don't like that argument saying you have to like you want to relax and play Call of Duty. There's no such thing. There's yeah. no such thing. If you want to do there good. Is. If you want to do good. I don't know. Mm -hmm. If you want to relax and play video games, go play NCAA, go play NBA, go play go one play of the Minecraft. You, you, yeah. You can't play Call of Duty and and want to relax. You can have those little loose games where you don't care if you get shit on like search and destroy where everyone's using right. That's fine. But I'm talking about like if you're That's playing fine. like hard point, no no such thing. No such, no such thing. thing. Yeah. I, I think a lot of people that, that say that they want to play a chill game, I think they mean it like I don't know how they mean it by themselves. Like how do you how do you find a game like Call of Duty that it's that competitive? That's that, you know, harsh with the how, you know, it balances teams and all that stuff. And where you, you kind of need a win to actually make progression if you're leveling up a weapon or, you know, you're trying to reach something for the battle pass. Like, you have to sweat. You have to sweat every single game. And a lot of, a lot of people that hate SBMM have that exact reason. Like, we just want to chill out and not care. Because if we don't make progression in a certain amount of time, like, we, we lose more, you know, battles and fights. We lose money on, you know, battle passes and we just don't have a good time. Right. And I just I don't get how people want or think they could have a chill time playing Call of Duty by themselves or even with their friends when they constantly have to win if they're trying to make progression into something with the game. You know, the, the craziest part is there are times when I'm playing by myself, I'm leaning back in my chair, but just because I'm so normal with this movement, I'm still somehow sweating. Like that's mm -hmm. not just because somebody can use move and everything doesn't mean they're sweating. Like you can tell in my live streams, majority of the time when I'm live streaming, I'm sweating my ass off unless I'm looking at chat and stuff. Like I'm not, yeah. I'm not really focused in. But like I yeah. was gonna make a video where you could literally just see me and I'm just leaning back like this. Like the movement, everything's still the same. I'm jump shotting. I'm I'm slide canceling everything. That 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 for me is relaxing. But people out there will then think that that is sweating. Like, sweaty. Mm -hmm. Like it's not. That's not Call of Duty anymore, man. Like, you cannot play this game chill because the movement is so advanced. Now, maybe in the future, not Black Ops 6 because we've got this Omni movement, but maybe in yeah. the future they play a game or they have a game where there's less movement. I'm fine with that. It'll be a less sweaty-like, but there's still going to mm -hmm. be those good players. This game, yeah. I'm sorry. You're going to you're gonna be facing people that are just great with movement, and you don't have to sweat to be good at movement. 
That's my whole point saying that because it's not hard to click the RS button or right analog <laughs> whatever, stick whatever to slide. you have the body to. It's not hard to just sit here and just do this like and then my and I'm naturally just, you know, like this like that movement, you like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm naturally just jump shy, and every time I sh- every time I get in a gunfight, so like, is that sweaty? No, it's just I'm I'm used to clicking that it, button. It's a mechanic that you have to learn in order to beat people. You have right? to. You I had you games, have to. yeah, like just the other day when my scuff wasn't working, I had to lead the game because the jump shotting alone, like I was getting killed because I wasn't able to jump shot because other people were. Like mm-hmm. I yeah. need that in it because it's in so many people's brains to just jump shot every time they get in a gunfight. But that's not sweating. It's just clicking a button. It's a mechanic. It's a mechanic. Like, yeah. Just click a button. Fortnite, when I was in in that community, when I was uploading that, people who, you know, could build quickly were called sweats. But it's a mechanic that's a part of the game. Don't complain about mechanic. That's especially a core part of the game. Movement is now a core part of Call of Duty. Some people's brains just move quicker. They're able to, you know, do yeah. that. Like like when people that can build, I, I can't never, I can never do that. But mm-hmm. it's the same in like in like Call of Duty. It's just in their brain, they're able to move it a little faster. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. No, but like I, I just don't understand how you can relax on Call of Duty with how the matchmaking is, with how great and how many players there are that are great now. People have PCs and it, these insane consoles, right? Nowadays, bro. And there's really nothing there's not a lot holding people back from reaching that next level in gaming and or being a pro. You know, it's literally just time and learning a mechanic or, you know, learning something about the game that people don't know and just getting better at that. But I, I don't know. Skill based matching is here, here is here to stay. Activision once again is, you know, confirming it and, and trying to convince everybody, the entire fucking community to that the, it's a good thing. All because more players are on the game. And because they're losing out money or you got you guys make millions a year. You know, like it's just a ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous, but obviously we, we should probably move on from because man, it, the whole the whole episode is gonna be about skill based match. I know, I know, but I mean, you could talk about it. You could talk about it for so you long. You definitely talk about it, yeah. Anybody that plays this game for a long time, anybody that's played it since the OG days, you already know like that everything Activision is bullshit. Like. It's mm-hmm. not the same people working at Activision as it was. It's not. It's not. It, it's not it's passionate not. people that care about the community, care about the game. They're only there to make a buck, man. And, and it's something needs to change. A, they're making a lot of money. And they're I don't a lot blame them. I don't blame them, but it is not what Call of Duty should be. Like, I'm not a mm-hmm. fan of these operator skins. I mean, we could talk about that. <laughs> I am not oh because I'm telling you, bro, when this game first came out, I, I made a video and I got so much bullshit or so much shit about it. I'm standing by it, dude. When I get fucking stunned, you all know you're, 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 uh, Red dot gets taken away, which makes zero the sense. Names get taken away. The, the names, names get taken, get taken away. away. How the, the mat- fuck? How the fuck <laughs> am I going to know who's on my team and who's not? I don't recognize my. I'm not looking at these operator skins on my team and saying, okay, that guy's on my team. So if I get flashed, I better not shoot at him. Mm-hmm. I don't fucking know that. Sometimes on the enemy team, I'd be like, okay, that guy's been fucking shit on me all game, or that guy's the one that me and him are going back and forth. Yes, shoot him if I get stunned or whatever. But in the end. How the fuck are you supposed to know who's on your team? This is the pro- this is why I love using the EMP. I need to get back to using it. You mm-hmm. have no idea who is on your team. You're shooting everybody because yep, that, all these EMP skins the mm-hmm. are absolutely insane. And you can't it's not like you know who the fuck was on the militia and who was on task force 1v1 1v1 mm-hmm. or whatever. 141. Yeah. 141. Holy mm-hmm. fuck, 1v1. I'm 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 thinking about Mark of <laughs> a hero right here. Good vibes, um, bro. I mean, but they make so much money on it. And that's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. Like business perspective, they're fucking so smart. I said in my video today, their whole thing <laughs> with making out. this STG broken as hell. The gun smart as hell. Pay well to get it quicker. Yeah. You're going to, they're either going to make money by people buying the tier skips to get it, or they're going to have a bunch of people play the game to be able to unlock it. It's a win win for them, but I'm still mm-hmm. going to talk shit about it. You know? Yeah. And like, a lot of people give us th- th- this excuse, or not an excuse, but like this this uh, argument that like if you guys don't like Call of Duty this much or that much, and you complain about it, you know, in certain parts of your videos or make a whole entire video about it, don't buy it. But the thing is, like, dude, if we enjoy a game, right? A, let's say for Madden, Madden was always the same, the same mechanics, all the stuff. The only thing that changes are the teams and the players, their skills, and all that stuff. 
people buy that every single year because they enjoy, you know, football or they enjoy a certain team or a certain player. They want to play with that person. For us, it's the exact same thing. We enjoy Call of Duty. We enjoy the the the, the feelings that we get when we play it or, you know, the gameplay and all that stuff. Let's be honest. What other FPS game has done it like Call of Duty in the past? None. No one. Look at X Defiant. Look at, look at X Defiant. They tried to replicate it with having SBMM off, right? Turned off. But nobody's playing it. There's a certain amount of people playing it, but it's not to the point where it's killing Call of Duty. And I, you know what I also hate? The conversation that, that any game could kill another game. Like, in specific genres, yes. But for first-person shooters, only Activision could kill Call of Duty. Remember Exosuits and how many people got off of Call of Duty and switched to other games? Exosuit for th three, four years was just ruining Call of Duty and they didn't want to switch it. So people went to like games like Fortnite, Minecraft, you know, other genres of games like CSGO, a lot of Call of Duty people. For example, the Fa FaZe Clan and even like Nate, Sean, Scump, they all played CS now because nobody, <laughs> nobody cared about Exosuits. And literally no other game killed a Call of Duty for a couple of years except for Activision themselves and the dev teams. Yeah, you're right. And... I'm I'm not I'm not I like exosuits a little bit. It's something it was something mm -hmm. different. I love something Advanced different, Warfare. Yeah. I fucking loved Advanced Warfare. I love it, I think it's it's a supply drop system. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. I'm not gonna lie. But that's where everything started with the store becoming mm -hmm. so important to Activision because they realized how much money they got. I still remember I, I was I'm I'm guilty of it. I bought whatever it was to where you could get a bunch of supply drops. Because mm -hmm. I was trying my ass off to get the Obsidian Steed and the uh, oh, Speakeasy, God. dude. I was trying, and I got it, and I got it. Once I got it, I didn't give a shit anymore. But that that was where it all started that, to go downhill mm -hmm. with the Call of Duty store because that's all they care about now. Um, mm -hmm. But here's the thing. Modern Warfare 3, and I've said this every time, I don't fucking hate Modern Warfare 3. I don't hate it at all. I yeah, love this game. game. I think it's mechanically one the, and gameplay wise. I have never been invested in a Call of Duty more than this one in the past five, six years. Now we're not going off of a lot of games. There are a lot of dog shit mm -hmm. games in that time period. But the gameplay, the guns, the movements, the the stuff in the seasons, I'm not gonna lie. Everything is very the post launch is good. Yep. It's very and it's good. It's always balanced. It's always balanced. Now, this is the only season I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie where a gun is actually really broken, the STG. But before mm -hmm. this, you can use any gun. You can use yeah. any gun. Now you could still actually honestly almost use any gun, but the STG I think is a little too strong. But it's where I can literally go into any lobby and I could take any AR, be good with it. Take any SMG, be good with it. That's all I use. Mm -hmm. I don't use anything else because I'm not I'm not into that. But I only talk shit about this game because of Activision. I'm not talking shit about the game game, like about like I'm talking about the publisher. I'm talking about the, the people that make this the decisions. Yeah, the decisions. And that's, yeah, that's what people don't understand is because I'm saying these simple fixes would fix this game and make it a ten out of ten. Right now, it's about a seven for me. Seven, yeah. It's like a mm -hmm. seven. Skill based matchmaking it takes it down three points. If they got rid of that. <laughs> If they got rid of that, I'm telling you, this would be a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. I in, I can yeah. deal with the OG MW2 maps. I think they could play a lot better than than Some, back in the, the day. Some of them are yeah. really bad. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the maps they even brought have been fucking great. They've been great. Yeah, they have. Like Yard, I think, mm -hmm. is phenomenal. I'm starting to like Bait a little bit more. Yeah, Bait, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You got Stash House, which is sometimes toxic, but I like that sometimes one. Sometimes, but it's good. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like the 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 maps and, and the content and the guns they bring. It's just the simple shit like the servers, skill-based matchmaking, them worrying about these operator skins is where I draw the line. I'm like, that is yeah. what I'm going to talk shit about. Because you want to see a game that you like and you play every day and you're passionate about it and you've been playing for years now. You know, you want to see it good. And when the people that are making decisions know about the problems and all that stuff and they focus on things that should not be focused on, it's ridiculous. You know, it's ridiculous. Like if you had a problem with a company, right. Or, you know, the, the person make a decision and there's a common problem or thing that people hate, dislike, you know, you would want to try to fix it. Activision does not do that. They literally try to, they literally showed it yesterday. They try to explain, improve the skill based matchmaking work works and is good for call of duty. It's good for them, but it's not good for the players. They only care about themselves. 
but they the claim casual- but they claim it is good for the players, which nobody yeah. nobody nobody agrees with, bro. The only people that agree with skill based matchmaking are the absolute shitters, which is like the very very small very percentage, few. like one percent, and the top content creators. That way, they mm-hmm. can literally manipulate the entire matchmaking system and get these easy ass gameplays. Yeah, yeah I mean because. Mm-hmm. You take it away, bro. I saw Frizz Eyes post his KD on X Defiant. God. Oh, 2.1 KD, but then this guy somehow gets nukes every single game in Call of Duty. The fuck out of here. Fuck you doing. It ain't it. It ain't it. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but we could, bounce from, we could bounce from this, man. We, we could talk all day about this shit, and I wouldn't yeah. mind it, but we could. We could. Mm-hmm. But. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That, that, that just shows how big of a problem it actually is. Two people who make content... Who play the game literally for hours every single day? That's embarrassing to say, but I don't think it's know, embarrassing. I don't think it's embarrassing. It's the same thing when yeah. people. It's mm-hmm. the same thing when people get home and watch TV for two hours. I do this yeah. instead. I don't like watching TV. Yeah. I like watching uh-huh. YouTube, but mm-hmm. you know, I'm like, I'd rather get on and have my brain doing something. I have ADHD, so yeah. I mean, I don't mm-hmm. know if anybody can tell. I can't stop moving in this chair. Um, <laughs> but but yeah, no. Let, let's move off to that and. Let's talk about Black Ops 6. We got about, what, a month and a half, basically? Uh, basically a month now until the beta starts, August 27th or 28th, all the way to September 4th. Um, Black Ops 6's beta is coming fast. Pause. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> it, it, it's coming out soon, and I want to know what some of your expectations are, Rick, because with oh, the new Omni God. movement and how good of a player that you are, especially in ring, because, you know, you're, you're a crim, and all that stuff. I want to know what you know. Some of your expectations for Black Ops Six are gameplay wise. You know, gameplay wise, man. Uh, so I'm expecting the maps to be great. I, I have nothing but high expectations for that because they've had three, four, four years? years, four years, three, four years. Yeah, three, four now, years. Now yeah. the biggest thing is I love it's Treyarch. I love that Treyarch is able to make this game after four Treyarch, years because bro. they are <laughs> they are the the best developer. The best. I used mm-hmm. to think Infinity Ward, but holy fuck. After Modern Warfare 2, get the fuck Dude, out of there. I, after, didn't they make Modern Warfare as well? They made, Mon- they made Modern Warfare 2019 and they made Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. The, Sledgehammer the, Games made Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, 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 they, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy what they did. I talked about it for in a video. Oh, my God. I mean, if this was what Modern Warfare 2 was, I, I wouldn't care, you know? Remember, remember this. Modern Warfare 2 was supposed to be a two-year cycle game. The yes, first and only two-year cycle game. Yeah, and, and Sledgehammer we was just... That same movement, yeah. Because Infinity War forced Sledgehammer Games to cancel Advanced Warfare 2 or whatever Call of Duty they're working on for years to make Modern Warfare 3 in under eight months. Yeah, and they did a, and 10 they've done times a phenomenal better job. job. They've done a they great did a 10 job. times better job. They've done a great job. But with Black Ops 6, I'm expecting the maps to be great. I'm, I'm hoping that the guns balancing is is like this year's where mm-hmm. all the guns. Basically usable. I think there's only like one SMG I won't use. I'm trying to think of which one it is, and there's only one AR I won't use the DG and or two DG. the Moss and the DG. The, the FR. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't need to use them. They're burst guns. I'm glad burst guns aren't broken. Like Call of Duty Ghost. I don't know if you remember the MSBS or, yeah, or COD Four. Yeah, M16. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm M60. fine with that. I'm not worried about those. But I'm expecting the gun balancing to be good. I'm expecting the maps. The maps are most important to me. I know they're bringing yeah. back some mm-hmm. maps from the OG days, which New is great because they're, they're phenomenal. Mm-hmm. I know they're bringing back Raid. Yeah. I believe. Um, Raid, yep. They're all great Newtown. maps. That I think they're all going to be great with the movement. Um, that's what I care about because, like, they, it needs to work with the movement. Some of these maps do not work good with movement. I think those will because Treyarch just in general makes great maps. Mm-hmm. I also with this movement thing, man. I, I've seen videos on. I need I need to refresh my brain one of these days and watch it again. I'm, uh, I I don't want it to be where it's absolutely like ridiculous. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want it to be where it is absolutely broken to do one thing or the other. Um, you know, cause there's a point where, yeah, I mean, what we do right now is not realistic at all. The sliding, you can't fucking mm-hmm. slide on concrete. But it's, but it's a video game. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, get, I, you know what I mean? Game, but know? like, I don't want it to be ridiculous where like somebody can dive or do this stupid ass shit. Slide, cr- dive. <laughs> crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want that, but I, I, I'm excited for the new movement. I think it's going to be awesome. As yeah. long as it's not broken, which I don't think it will be. I think they have a long time yeah. to do. But the other thing is, it's hard for me to have any different expectation on the gameplay or matchmaking because of skill-based matchmaking. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because no matter how awesome the game is, there's still going to be those same up. problems. 
mm -hmm. where, you're, so where you're carrying the team or you're going against a full stack of sweats and all that stuff and you're just stuck with bad players. It's just, that, yeah, it's it's the yeah. only thing I know is just not going to change and it's still going to make people just not because that, that, that thing that we went over all almost this whole entire thing mm -hmm. is going to just not bring anybody new in. Everybody that left saw that and like it's never going to change. Yeah, Why the fuck? Like, I have so many people in my comments that are saying they're not buying this new game, which I don't mm -hmm. blame them. I don't them. blame them. I don't I'm blame still going to buy mm -hmm. it because I love, love Call, Call of Duty. Duty yeah. I'm still going to bitch about some things that need to be changed even though they're never going to listen to me. I mean, but I, I'm expecting it to be better than this game. Mm -hmm. I'm just never going to be something new. 100%. 100%. But, I mean... Dude, it's so hard because it's just, I know damn well, there's going to be days where I'm just going to want to get off because it's so sweaty. Like Wednesday, mm -hmm. I could not play. Yeah. You, I was dude, losing my out. mind. You looked out of it because you were like this. You were literally just sitting there oh, like, dude. yeah, guys. I was losing my let's mind. Let's just see someone, let's see people 1v1. I don't even want to play. And then even when we were playing Warzone, I was like that too. I was, I was like this. I was like, yeah. There's, <laughs> see Warzone, this is, this see Warzone. Sweaty. Like that's the point where I'll go fucking play. I had more fun playing Warzone. I played Warzone mm -hmm. today. My first solo. I got 20 fucking kills. I got third place because some baby back bitch. So I couldn't use the gameplay. <laughs> but like, <laughs> like that was more relaxing to me. And usually that's where all the sweats are. Mm -hmm. That just yeah. shows you. And like, I'm going back to skill-based matchmaking one more time. Because this is going to come up in the comments. I know fucking damn well. Why am I, am I scared to face competition? We haven't talked about that. No, I'm not oh, no. scared to Please talk don't. about. I'm not no. fucking worried about competition. It's I'd rather get shit on. I'd rather, I'd rather get, get shit, shit on. on. But it's the point that every fucking game over and over and over and over and over. How many more times do you want me to say it? And over and over. <laughs> over, and over where and I over. have to fucking play people like me. I'm not saying everybody mm -hmm. on the enemy team. I'm saying at least two or three guys or at least a 1.5 and up. Probably even higher because I know there's damn well there's some good. There's some the dudes just destroy me. No, ain't mm -hmm. no motherfucker scared, uh, scared of competition over here. But we just yeah. don't want that to be. All the, the damn time. Game. I don't know. Remember, remember, remember this. We d at certain points, even as content creators or even as players, before we did this content stuff, we just wanted to chill. Like if we're playing with IRLs, right, or friends of ours, or let's say for viewers, we just want to chill. We don't want to sweat twenty four seven. And that's that's where we're not, people we're not always in that that, that that form of just creating content. That's where people are going to be confused because when we say chill, remember we said we can't relax in this game. We're, mm -hmm. we're talking about our movement and stuff. Like when we say chill, we want to be able to, in a way, play people that are just based off of servers. So like majority mm -hmm. of the time, I'm going to say 99% of the time, people are not going to be better than me. So I'm going to have great gameplays. But when you have skill-based matchmaking, there are people just as good as me all the damn time. That shit gets tiring. Time. So yeah. in a way, you know what? In a way, I am gonna I'm gonna pivot on this. In a way, I am asking for some games where I just play people based off a of ping. So basically, yeah, I kind of want to play some shitters. I kind of do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I yeah. I mean, I, but I, I said it last stream too. But if the connection, if it's based off connection, and I play some good players, fuck it. I can always leave that, the that's lobby. Just connection. I can yeah. always leave the mm -hmm. lobby. But with good connection, I, I mean, I'll probably have a better experience. Whereas this server's now. If I play anybody good, I could probably shoot them four or five times. Some of them won't register because the servers are so dog shit. Yeah. So I don't know what to believe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But what the hell are we talking I think about? BO6. <laughs> BO6, yeah. But yeah, BO6, I I'm expecting it to be good. They they did confirm that you cannot disable it and that they were just showing it off compared to like the old movement and all that stuff, right? So you can't disable it. So I, I don't know if you remember, but when they revealed Omni movement, some pro CDL players wanted to GA it. Yeah, I remember. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. But I'm expecting the game to be good. I know it's Treyarch. I, I'm not going to be honest. I'm probably not going to be on multiplayer for the first. I'm only probably going to be on it for like the first two weeks. After I get all the weapons, the, the max camos and all that stuff, I'm going straight to zombies. I'm doing all the Easter eggs and all that stuff. But yeah, I know zombies, zombies is going to be good. I'm not a zombies guy, bro. Dude, I'm telling you, if you play with your friends, just chill. Because that, that can always be chill. Zombies could either be yeah, you guys true. trying to sweat it out or yep. just chill. That's the best part about zombies. But for me, like, I'm, I know multiplayer is going to be good. It's Treyarch, bro. It's Treyarch. And I didn't get to play Cold War as much because I was on my PS4 and every single game was 15 minutes to get in one. And then also load in was like five minutes. So 20 minutes was just waiting to get into one game. Right. And I didn't really get to experience Cold War that much. So I'm excited. I'm excited to play a Treyarch 
Call of Duty on a PC that's good with the, the knowledge and skill that I have. The classic prestige system is back too. Cl- so that's gonna yeah. that is like an insane thing. Mm-hmm. Don't don't even get me started on why the fuck they ever took that out. What was the point? <laughs> like when I reach like the first season, level two fifty, what am I supposed to do now? Like I'm not a guy mm-hmm. to go for camos. I'm just telling you that I don't the camo grind is just ridiculous to me. I, I'm not a guy like like I said, my ADHD kicks in. I cannot slowly just Stick. keep fucking dying and dying mm-hmm. trying to get a kill with like a a, a shotgun that's so bad or a yeah. pistol. I, I can't do it's, it. Especially I, when you know you're better than the play that keeps I, going. I, I can't do it. And it's team. just me- and I don't have enough time to waste to go get a camo. Now the zombies camo is insane. That's the only one I kind of wish I did. But again, mm-hmm. I don't have so much time to invest. So it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But that prestige yeah. system's always something I could go for. Like I can go for max prestige or or I can go for level prestige over, master. Level thousand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, I love it. I'm excited. Like that's a huge change where I'm like fucking boner. Like, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. But yeah. Uh, talking about your PC though, I've never asked because I see you with like 400 frames. Uh, please explain the specs of this fucking all right, beast. All right. I mean, all I'll, right, I'll, I'll, right. I'll, I'll, let me let me explain. Oh, first off, let me explain my little baby ass bitch ass <laughs> PC before this guy with his 450 frames in his videos. That's why I'm saying, go check this fucking guy's videos out. This guy has 450 fucking frames while running OBS, while running Call of Duty. That is unheard of. I think my max while just playing without OBS open is like 290, maybe 300 once. This guy's got 450 while playing, like 350 while playing Warzone. Holy shit. Oh. So so for comparison, okay, I got a 38, no, not 30, excuse me, 4080 Super 16 GB Ooh, GPU, whatever okay. the fuck that means. I don't even know what that means. 16 gigabytes, okay. What, I, whatever, right. whatever, okay, 4080, okay. 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. I got uh, AMD 9 Ryzen 7950X CPU. This is for all the people mm-hmm. that love PCs, by the way. You guys don't know what this yeah. means. I, I don't mm-hmm. know what it means. I got a shit ton of fans. <laughs> I got a I got a what's it called a water cooler. What the hell is that called? AIO water. It's basically water cool, and it pushes the water up and down. Or see, this guy knows. The tubes. This guy knows the shit. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it clears the heat. Yeah, I got yeah. that. I got an MS. I know the motherboard doesn't really matter. At least what I heard. MSI mm-hmm. X six seventy maybe. I don't fucking know. Maybe, I don't even know if that's right. Two terabytes of storage. Uh, 750 watt power. Uh, I think that's pretty much all that matters. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's all I got. That's all I got. Okay, you know my baby ass PC. What's this guy got? You know what? I, I I need to figure it out. I need to figure it out. What do we got? What do you got? All right. So for CPU, we got a four. It was four hundred dollars when I bought it. Three sixty now. Um, the AMD Ryzen 9 7900X. 12 core processor with 24 threads, 4.7 gigahertz. That's I don't know what any of that fast. means, but cool. Good shit. Right. And then I got an NZXT AIO, um, one of the newer ones. The motherboard's an MSI as well. That was $200. The AIO was 260 And then for memory, um, DDR5, 6,400 uh, speeds. CL, the cast latency is 32. 48 gigabytes, bro, of RAM. Right, I was trying to go for like 64, but um, too much. So that was 180. Then for storage, I have two of the same um, SSDs. They are, I think they were 170 when I bought them. The Samsung 990 Pro two terabyte um, Gen 4 storage, right? SSDs. And then here's the big, the big part: how I get my frames. The CPU is good, adds a lot of frames, but the video card, the GPU. So AMD also has their own video cards. And I was at a 3060 with my old PC, but with AMD and how everything is there, I have the AMD Radeon 7900 XTX, and that is basically a 4090. I was going to say, like, I only hear 4090. You know, I don't hear of AMD yeah. GPUs. I, I am I like, isn't it usually Nvidia? I don't know. Like, I'm new to this. Nvidia, shit. yeah, usually Nvidia. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like Nvidia, a 4090. That's what I was expecting yeah. you to say. Okay, mm-hmm. that's awesome. But the 4090 at this point, um, this is the last thing I had to buy, and I, uh, the 4090 is what like, like couple grand. Yeah, like two. Twelve hundred. Wait, is it twelve hundred? Yeah, it's around twelve hundred. I, I see it Holy up now. Shit. Twelve hundred, somewhere eighteen hundred, two thousand dollars. I was gonna say, I think it's right? like two. Yeah, and that comes with 24 gigabytes of VRAM, which is a lot. 
The AMD 7900 XTX comes with 24 gigabytes, but it's only like 900, 800. It's a pretty I mean, funny that's story. A, that, it's that, a steal. I would have done that. Holy yeah. Shit. The story how I got this car is pretty funny. So I'm going to school, right? And I get swerved off the road by by this BMW, this white gray BMW. And I hit, I hit a tree pole. Um, I crashed my car. And this is literally in October before Modern Warfare 3 came out. And I had every single part already except for the GPU. I'm in the hospital for a couple hours, basically the entire day. I get out. I buy my graphics card that I have now for $700. It was on sale because of Black Friday. And it sold. And it usually is $1,100, $1,000. So I got that. What and I got steal. my PC. What a steal. And and for my power supply, it's a, a 10, uh, no, not 10,000, 1,050 watts, 80 plus platinum. So I got around like a $4,000, $5,000 PC. Holy and, shit. I mean, you guys could tell and, that this guy's a tech wizard. I love it. I mean, that's why I'm in IT, God. bro. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Wow. That's but, crazy. Dude, like the way, I don't know if I like the software, since you're not really in that, but AMD has this frame regeneration thing that they have called amd fsr and i think some pc players some nvidia cards can run it yeah this have a specific nvidia card but it just gives you extra frames before i had my this pc that i have now i was getting around 120 to 200 fps without obs right and then when i got to amd and had fsr on now i'm hitting 400 500 600 sometimes especially when i have nothing open like a video or something like that it's it's crazy. Do you it's have a crazy. do you have a webcam right now on your monitor? Yeah. Are you able to show your PC? Show my you want a PC check me, brother. Like are you able to no, like no 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 like are you able to like oh, take oh. the webcam and show it? I want to see what they're it looks gonna, like. They're probably gonna comment like he has a his a Zen or something like that. But yeah, huh. we got that. Look at this guy's right? setup, then, man. I think you made a setup video. I remember watching it. I gotta yeah, see. Was got, that with the updated it, PC? That was with the updated PC, and I then I got copy. I got false copyright striked. Did you really? Ha yeah. Have you ever dealt with that? Uh, Th this can honestly go into the content section of what we wanted to talk about. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, do yo, it. Okay. Well, hold on. Let me let me just show my Your PC. setup. Yeah, yeah. Let me show you. Don't worry about the dirty stuff. So, <laughs> the dirty this, so I got mine from Build Redux. So it's pretty fucking solid. I it think, is Build Redux is good. That was my. I mean, was my I would, choice. when I when I watched or saw it, like I don't know if you guys you know whatever. Cool. So the big ass GPU. But when I was um looking to get something, I was my biggest thing was I need a pre built because the reason I was gonna get a PC number one I was gonna get it in July. So I, I was gonna mm -hmm. get it for my birthday. I was gonna save up some money. Um, but out of nowhere, I moved my setup around. So I had a PS5. Yeah, I moved I my mm -hmm. I, I moved my PS5 from this side to this side of my desk. I plug everything. I take everything out, clean my whole thing, plug everything mm -hmm. back in normally. Nothing goes ever even close to maybe being hurt or, or damaged. Plug it back in, and out of nowhere, my Elgato will not show any oh. any of my stuff. So this was when I was around shit. Was I around one or two thousand subscribers? But I was growing, and I was mm -hmm. like. I need to keep going because you cannot just stop. And out of I'm nowhere. Not, I cannot stop out of nowhere, and I cannot buy another game capture card if I'm going to get a PC because I'm like that's a waste of money. Mm -hmm. And I don't want. I don't need to do any other console games. If I want to get any games, I could do it on a PC. So I said, "Fuck it, I'm getting a PC." And I was so worried because I have no idea. I still have no idea. About anything. Mm -hmm. I've learned a little bit, but, you know, yeah, whatever. a little bit here and there from the probably viewers, not yeah. even probably not. I mean, who knows if anything went wrong? I, I, I'm, I'm screwed, but I saw so many 50, 50, you know, and a lot of them were from years ago when I think build Redux just started. So I was nervous, but I was like, you know what? It looks professional. I saw some and I'm like, wow, that looks clean. It looks good. So I said, screw it. I'm doing it. And I'm not going to lie. I did a financing option. Um, mm -hmm. because yeah, I, I, you talked about it in a video and on stream. Dude, it was like it was like asking about I think PC. it was like I think it was like three thousand or something with shipping taxes, everything included, maybe like twenty eight hundred. I don't know. Without mm -hmm. it, without the financing, I'm like I cannot drop three bands, especially right now because I'm that get, you're engaged. I'm engaged. Yeah. I'm 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 getting married. I, I have my own house. I don't know what I don't know if you still live with your parents or ever, anything. I do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, good. I'm stay, only nineteen, bro. Stay, yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Stay. Stay. <laughs> Stay as long as you can. I mean, 
it's so expensive out here. But I was like, I need a, I need to do something. So I'm like paying like a hundred and fifty or sixty a month for. That's not bad. No, it's. I think I'm paying like five or six hundred interest or something over two years. But I'm like, dude, that's fine. And if anything, I can it's pay it off sooner. Like after the mm-hmm. wedding, I could pay it off sooner or something. I don't know. Yeah. But I was like, but when I got it, I was so nervous. I couldn't get the fucking thing out. The error thing. I'm like, dude, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't know how loose this shit could be. I'm so oh scared. I'm going. It took me like 20 minutes to get it out without like ruining something. It was like right around the uh, the tubes for the water cooler. Or whatever yeah, it's so called. Th- yeah, that's protective. Yeah. Yeah, so, I couldn't. So I was like, dude, if I pull this, I'm not, I'm not I don't know. <laughs> So I took me forever, but when I got it all out, I'm like, dude, this is some of the cleanest shit I've ever seen. And then I got a bunch of people that uh, on my fiance's uh, side of the family who are loving PCs. They're like, let me build you one. I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't have fucking time to have you build me one. I need it now. Um, they came and they're like, this this is clean. So they did a great job. I want to do a video in the future about it because I didn't want to make a video. Educate people. I mean, yeah. And mm-hmm. just... I, I, I love it. I think it works great. It does great for me. I think the videos, everything is phenomenal. The uh, I have no problems. I've not crashed one time. Um, mm-hmm. You know, it's just, it's 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 very good. But um, I mean, I just always saw your frames. I'm like, I have to know what this guy's got because it is nuts. <laughs> it's nuts. But that's going to, you know, everyone's going to say you can't do shit on console because of your frames. I You get a little advantage. Uh, you got a little aim, uh, aim assist. Aim assist I, mean, but, I mean, but... <laughs> This dude would still shit on anybody on console. That's all I'm gonna say. But dude, um, I was in console for four years on Fortnite, and I, I was in pro tournaments, bro, on a PS4, on yeah, a PS4. Dude, yeah, I mean, I got videos of when I was playing MW3 on console. I still mm-hmm, there's yeah. nothing different, nothing different except for the frames. Oh so, yeah. Um, but what were you talking about? Content. Uh, what was content? The thing yeah. Yeah. What were we gonna? So I got. Have you ever been false copyright? Oh, right, that's what it where, was. Uh, yeah. I think I've only been uh, with like something that says copyright free music and yeah. then out of nowhere it mm-hmm. becomes not, but I haven't been copyright. False. You haven't been striked. Yeah. So no. for YouTube, if you don't know, you have basically three, um, war- not the warnings, but three strikes. If you, if you get all three strikes, your, ter- your channel gets terminated forever and you can dispute it, but that takes literally months to years. So I got false copyright strike by someone Using the company music that um I don't know who you know you probably do know him since you're in, you're in Illinois and Chicago um Lil Durk mm-hmm. I use one of his like you know beats that someone recreated and like remixed a little for one for the uh, setup video just to put in the background this guy like fake being Lil Durk and his label that you know the publisher and false copyrighted strike the video and almost did all my videos and. YouTube, I guess they thought it was real, so they strike down that video and took it down. And I didn't get, you know, uh, the video was completely gone. I don't even have the video anymore, right? Um, and so that got striked and got deleted from the guy, and I got a false copyright strike. And luckily, everything was reverted. I'm good now, but that's why I don't have that video. And also, like, it's just crazy to me that that people would do that. You know, just try to strike someone three times to get their channel deleted because it's See, happened like, to people before. Yeah, I think it happened to uh, Eight Thoughts. Steve, yeah, and Steve will do it too. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't know even how to copyright strike, or mm-hmm. I don't even know yeah. how to do that. Um, it's I don't know scummy, the, dude. I don't know the rules about it. Um, if I ever, that's why sometimes I'm like told not to put music or anything at well, all. Well, music I just do within whatever software I'm doing. Um, mm-hmm. Because I'm not gonna go through any copyright bullshit anymore because it's a complete joke. Um, yeah. Because it says copyright free and it ends up being not because it's all bullshit. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But um, what was I gonna say? I know that sometimes when I'm doing like videos, uh, showing someone else's video, I don't know the rules on that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's, reacting or mm-hmm. something. So I'm like, I haven't been struck yet. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know why it's such a big issue if you're literally showing everybody where it can. It's Exposing like citing it your, to more people, citing your source type of thing in the school. Mm-hmm. I know we all did that yeah. shit. We're excited. Oh, I don't that. know if it's all called the We're same excited. thing. Yeah, it is. Um, it is. It is. Yeah, I mean, but I don't know. Uh, what's it's your what's your uh, what's your advice on that to anybody that's doing it? Uh, I mean, dude, like find a beat that someone made and just that has everything detailed or in detail of what you can do with that song or music, right? Um, 
like for me, for the channel I'm on now, the one that with 3,000 subscribers that I upload every day on, like I was starting off with reaction videos, but literally every single video would get striked. And from what I've heard with other creators that were my size and even bigger than me, there's a white list that you have to be on to listen to people's music and even, you know, react to uh, their videos and all that stuff. But it, it's, cr it's it's just a weird thing that n there's so many things that you have to know and read that you can't really understand off bat. Like you need a lawyer for it sometimes, dude. That's, That's how complex this copyright stuff is. And if if I'm you, if you're a creator, big or small, and you, you want background music or music in your videos, just find a, a, a free uh, to use um, song and just read about it in the description and see if like, you know, what will happen if you use it. And all that stuff, because I know some people that make beats and all that stuff have certain rules and stuff that you have to actually follow. And they'll be and if you don't, you, you'll be able to get copyright strike. But yeah, it, it's very complex, you know, so stupid, so stupid. Mm -hmm. I mean, I never understood it. If if yeah, same. if you're using it and you show you know, where it came years. from, you're literally you're literally exposing it out there for mm -hmm. everyone else. So I don't know. I never understood why it's such an issue. Like if I use somebody's song and I put why or whose song it is. Why, why is that an issue? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. But I mean, I'm, I don't write the laws. I don't do any of that. I don't write the rules. Um, but <laughs> other than the copyright stuff, we could close on this. Um, mm -hmm. What what We get a lot of people, at least I do. I don't know about you. Uh, I get a lot of people that keep on asking me content tips, content ideas. How did I do it? Um, mm -hmm. and, and all that stuff. So I wanted you to go first and then I'll go and finish up yeah. what mm -hmm. I think, uh, because yeah, I just want to get your opinion before I, before I go and say what I want to say. So go yeah. ahead. So I've been doing YouTube for four years now, right? Started on console, freaking on a Mac laptop with four gigabytes of RAM. I couldn't even run a stream, but the way I was able to make, make videos and make content and just come up with ideas and just improve was literally just by uploading. Not every video will, every new video that you make will be your new best video. And the biggest thing I've been trying to tell people that I've been trying to help behind the scenes and all that stuff is, but I, I've told them like, just improve on one thing within the editing, within the actual, you know, recording process, within the thumbnail process, creating that thumbnail and just try to find a style or, um, Something that you think is actually good that you will actually watch. Like for editing, the way I have it set up, I like videos. I grew up on videos that, you know, were cut commentaries like Phase Jev, Chris Smooth. Sometimes his would be live, sometimes it wouldn't. But I like, you know, the commentary stuff. So I tried it out and I ended up liking it even more. And I and I just learned how to make it faster, how to make it better, how to, you know, make everything better. And I just experimented, man. If you go back to some of my videos, like I just have random thumbnails, right? Where like before, when we first met and started playing and you started checking out my videos, I had the basic where they just, you know, preview the weapon with the text on top. And you told me like, dude, just experiment and literally do something different than what these other people are doing. So I tried doing that and it, and it's paid off well. I hit 3K subs because of that. I, I'm, you know, getting more views, comments, and all that stuff. So, you know, when my my content tips, I would say, is every single video from actually making it, recording it, to the post-production and the titling, the thumbnail, the editing, always try to work on one thing that you know from the last video you did not like, think could work on stuff. So, yeah. Um, but literally just upload, do not just freaking not upload and then expect, you know, things to work out, you know, like for me, a big factor of why I've been uploading every day and probably for Rick too, is just like me just being consistent with at least something, right? That's how it is for me. Like I, I'm, I don't have a job. I just do YouTube and at least I'm consistent with something in my life. So I just upload and upload and upload every single day. Also because I like it and like, it's just a routine thing for me now, but you can't grow or improve on something if you don't actually practice and do it, you know, like Very for sports, true. if you try, if you want to be a basketball player or a referee, 
but you don't do anything to improve or actually get into it, how are you ever going to be that thing that you want to be? You know? Exactly. And who cares if the video does bad or is it's a bad video? If people fuck with it, they fuck with it. And just try to improve it to the point where you are satisfied with it. Yeah. So, and I, and I think the biggest part is that people, honestly, it's happened to me before. Like, I just not even get burnt out, but like, I just get um, so self, um, what's the word? Like, so self-conscious about what other people think of the video. Yeah. Or what it looks like. But like, everyone starts from something, bro. You know? So just upload and do it and practice and improve every single day. 30 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour into it. So th those are my content tips. You can go, Rick. Cool. So I made a video on this a few days ago. A few days ago. Yeah, I was a, watching a it. A few yeah. days ago. Fucking facts. And, and here's, here's the simple part. Number one, it all starts with you. It's like everything else in life. How far mm -hmm. you want to get in work, how far you want to go to school, how far you want to go into sport. Whatever the case may be, it's up to you. Now, if you come in with this attitude, especially nowadays where everybody is on social media, everybody's doing videos, everybody in, in, in general is doing this stuff. If you come in here thinking that if you post this, you should automatically like get these views, get, you should views, get these followers. It's not meant for you. It's not meant for you because I, I know the, the algorithm itself in YouTube is so difficult to to even make happen in your favor you can maybe mm -hmm. get people you can see people with millions of subscribers today barely get thousands of views because one they have a lot of people that subscribed maybe years ago they got a lot of people that don't watch that stuff anymore so it doesn't show up on the recommended it is so the algorithm is insane so you have to have it in your mind that you might get an insane gameplay you might have the best commentary you've ever had in your life but if you go in there thinking that this video should automatically be like this or 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 like way above what you expect, you're gonna you're gonna be very disappointed. And the second you get humbled you get, real quick, the second you get disappointed one time, you have a decision to make. And a lot of people are just gonna be like, "Why am I gonna waste my time? Why am I gonna waste my time?" It's not meant for everybody. Just like streaming is not meant for everybody. But you have mm -hmm. to have that drive and kind of in a way treat it like a job, because yeah. I. I didn't want this to be a job. This is a hobby to me. I love yeah. I love doing this. If I was going to play video games, why would I not make a video or, or try to connect with people in some type of way? That was my whole entire reason for doing this. But now I kind of have to treat it like a job because, yeah, I got a lot of subscribers. Yeah, I'm making some decent money off of it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm mm -hmm. not making shit from ad revenue. Ad revenue is nothing with, with the gameplay. Yeah. But but when when I when I enjoy what I'm doing, you want you have to have that mindset that you got to treat like a job and you got to be able to understand that it might not be a good day for you, but you have yeah. to keep pushing forward. That that the mm -hmm. person that's the first thing. The second thing I mentioned in that video is you need to have I don't care what anybody says. If you have shit quality, <laughs> if you have shit quality, Nobody's gonna watch your video. Why would I subscribe to somebody with dog shit quality? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. why would I? Why would I subscribe to somebody or want to continue on their to phone 1080p? You know, dude, why? Why <laughs> with with the worst mic, with with terrible webcam, with terrible quality in general? Like 1080p, but it doesn't look like 1080p. You know what I mean? Like the bit rate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not I'm not subscribing because I want to enjoy what I'm looking at. I want to enjoy what like and that also comes back to personality. If you cannot fucking talk, if you cannot somehow entertain me or somehow relate to me, like you're not going to be like if you're somebody like there's so many people out there and I don't know. I, I coach freshman football. OK, mm -hmm. there are people I talk to. I cannot talk to after, after like, because those fresh, it's especially people coming up. I don't know how 19 year olds are like, like you guys. I mean, I'm 24, so I'm not really, I, I, a lot of people my age that don't know how to fucking talk, but you see yeah. a lot of these channels and they're just talking. They're like, Hey, um, so what's up guys? I got a uh, brand new YouTube video. Um, 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 I, I think you're going to like it. Like, get the fuck out of here. I'm not hey, I'm not gonna lie. I started like that. You go look at my old videos. I have come a long Same way. Here. I I got so but that's where that's where limbo's point comes in. 
I watch those videos. I watch my own videos. Most of those views on my older videos are probably me watching it. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, cause I'm trying to figure out how can I make this sound, but I'm, re- I'm watching my commentary. I'm like, that sounds like fucking shit. That sounds mm-hmm. like shit. Now I'm able, now I went to, and I kind of edited around my commentaries for some m- months, but now within the past week, I kind of like just making it to where it's like me showing my no face, cuts. no mm-hmm. cuts. And I learned how to speak a lot better. And before yeah. I even start the video, I don't care. My fiance makes fun of me. I, I'm talking to myself in the shower, kind of rehearsing what I want to say to start. Because once I get into it, it's not hard for me, at least me personally, because I feel like I'm able to do this. Like I, I feel like I'm a decent person to talk to and being able to express what I'm saying. Sometimes I lose it because I have ADHD, like I said. But I, I practice what I'm going to say. I practice yeah. how I'm going to say it. And I mm-hmm. and like, you know, Limbo over here, he was doing his research on the whole skill based matchmaking thing. And a lot of these people don't do that. They don't take that extra step. You need to be able to do that. So your personality, Mm -hmm. your drive, your quality. And I think the last thing is, and this is very important to me, Mm -hmm. thumbnails. Thumbnails are so important. Thumbnails, descriptions, keywords, hashtags, whatever, all that to get into the algorithm. But if your thumbnail's dog shit, no one's clicking on it. Nobody's clicking on it. That's the first thing that they see. That's the first thing they see. And they could tell just by your thumbnail if the video is even going to be worth their time. You know what I mean? Like find something that, and that's where I think you were telling razor. Cause we got a boy, absolute razor that was Mm -hmm. asking us for content. Shout out to him Mm -hmm. because he's trying, he's working on it. Um, but what you were saying to study your CTR and all that stuff, click through all, all the analytics within YouTube, how many, like my, I don't know where your percentage is with, with click, click rate. Mine. I try to get above 10%. I think yeah. above ten percent is pretty damn good, uh, because Definitely usually I is. think I don't remember how many impressions I usually get. Which impressions, ladies and gentlemen, if you know what that is, where somebody actually sees and looks at it for like a second or two, or two three seconds. I don't know how long it is, and then whether they click it or not. I want to be at least ten percent because if it shows ten thousand people, I'll get a thousand views. Most mm-hmm. of the time, I think I'm in the shoot like twenty or thirty thousand impressions, depending on what video or how much. It, that's where all the keywords and all that shit goes into play. Yeah. Um, but you need to have a good thumbnail. You need to. And that's another thing you got to invest in Photoshop, whatever the hell you're using. I use Photoshop and I mm-hmm. found a, I, I, ca- Photoshop, yeah. I found a thing that I think a lot of people, when they follow me, they know that it's a Rick video based off of how the thumbnail looks. Yeah. I don't have to mm-hmm. show my face. I don't have pictures to be able to do like all these other, I don't want to be like that. Um, I'm not saying that's bad, but like, I don't want that to be, you know, because like, I think I'm ugly as shit. I don't want, you know, anybody. Yeah. You want your own style. I want my own style and I, and I can switch Mm -hmm. it up in some way, but like it needs to pop out. I try to keep the words in it very like pop out. And the one word I want, like, let's say it, like let's let's, highlighted, highlighted. Yeah. That needs to be good because it it will show your quality before you even click on the video Mm -hmm. or, and and it's got, it's gotta be good. It's gotta be good. So I don't know, man. I mean, it's it's just the main thing is it's it's you have to spend a lot of time. Some people get lucky. Like I think I was monetized a month or two after I started, which I think is fast as shit. I don't know how long it takes some people to get a thousand subscribers. It's all about it. it some people take years. Some people take months. Some people take a week or two. Right? Exactly. The YouTube gurus also like for me. I won't lie. For the channel that I'm on now, that's monetized. It took me about. Like when I started posting consistently, I got monetized in about two weeks when I started posting consistently. And that's because of one pop off video and me just, you know, posting what worked at that time and what people wanted to see, what people requested, all that stuff. And not just me just like expecting the video to be, you know, to pop off good and all that stuff. You know, yeah. it was just me doing something new that I wanted to try. So, yeah, if you, if you guys don't know how to get monetized, you need a thousand subscribers. It's two steps. A thousand mm-hmm. subscribers, and you need to have four thousand watch hours. I think there's another thing for like for like shorts or whatever. Yeah, yeah, um, like three million views in ninety days from yeah, shorts. Yeah, by themselves. which is insane. I don't know. They're both uh, hard. They're all they're both, hard. I mean, the one thousand subscribers, I think, is the hardest thing uh, because mm-hmm. watch time is hard too. Though watch time is hard because you need to be able to. That's where it also comes with analytics. You need to be able to keep their attention. Because the longer you keep their attention, the more clicks you get, the more the video is pushed out. If nobody clicks on your video in the algorithm, nobody, if nobody clicks on your video, if nobody wants to watch your video longer than, 
I don't know. I try to get at least fifty percent of my video watched. I mean, because Call of Duty, mm -hmm. Call of Duty is hard, uh, especially if you're just doing a gameplay. I think that's why a lot of them are doing these thirty, 30 minute, minute gameplays. Video. Uh, yeah, I, and I mean, they just have know. it at the end. Yeah, I don't even know how this video is gonna do. Who the hell knows? Some people might play it in the <laughs> car. Like I, I don't care. Like this, I enjoy doing this. I'm not even, I'm not even worried about how this video does. But yeah, same. Um, but uh, it's just so much expectations. You know what I mean? Like for YouTube, it's. If you did it back in the day, YouTube is hard now. YouTube is hard. And a lot of competition. So much competition. So and it's crazy because you see, just look up anybody's YouTube video. Anybody with hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Look at how many, especially in Call of Duty. Look at how many views they average a video. It's nowhere near their subscriber count. Nowhere. And that's always going to happen. It's that's always going to happen. happen. So like people always, that's like a, one problem where, I, where people say to like, even me, which makes no sense. I got 10,000 subs. God bless me. Like, I am so blessed. Mm -hmm. I am very thankful yeah. for it. But one video, the 16A bomb video, I only have 500 mm -hmm. views on. Insane gameplay, whatever. I'm not worried about it. I, and then, then people come here and say, oh, look at you, you. You're not even getting any views. Your channel's dead. Brother, you obviously don't know YouTube. I'm cool. Yeah. I know should, how this is. You should be getting at least 10% of how many people are subscribed. So if you have 10,000, you should be at least like under or above a thousand views yep right yep yep like for me right now i'm at three thousand i should be at like 300 views a video right and if i'm and sometimes not, like, even not even even so like it sometimes won't even work like that you know what i mean because sometimes mm -hmm. even if you're subscribed to somebody like i'm subscribed to people on my youtube channel sometimes their video depending on what i watch will not show up on my recommended yeah mm -hmm. you know what i mean so like i even 10 yeah. percent is 10 percent would be insane because think about like swag he has three million subs where's my phone what is 10% of 3 million? 300K? 300K. And he's not getting that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, it, it's it's a it's a thing where you shouldn't even worry about the views. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be worried, shouldn't. especially when you start. You have mm -hmm. to just slowly, I love the one, each video, do something better after each video. I love that. I love that content mm -hmm. tip from you because it's so true. That's what I, so I solely wanted my quality to get better. So what did I do next? I upgraded my commentary. Okay. After that, what did I do? What did I do? I moved to 4k video for my, so everyone can enjoy it in uh, 4k. And then now what am I doing? I'm switching up how I do commentary. I'm switching up this, that thumbnails. I'm doing a little different. And then once you get it going, you can just slowly just start, keep on going and going and going until you find something mm -hmm. that works based off the analytics, like you said. So I, I think you had great tips. Uh, yeah, you too. I, I really like, think it was great without it. Yeah, appreciate you. I, I really think that Limbo, um, if you guys aren't subscribed to him, you guys really need to. I think he is somebody that is very, very uh, underrated. Um, appreciate that, bro. And because he has uh, works his ass off, love his personality. The, the quality is insane. So, you guys really need to go subscribe to him if you're not. Um, you real? I mean, the fuck you doing if you're not? I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, but he's uh, he's he's a he's a good guy, amazing, plays with his. I mean, he's literally this is the last thing I want to talk about, and I, I promise this is the last thing. <laughs> I really look at somebody based off how they stream. I don't know if that's weird. How do they react to people in the in the in the chat? Do they read the chat? Do they not? Do they care more about the gameplay? Do they care more about the community? How do they do it? Uh, I have a huge problem and I don't care how many viewers they have. Okay. I'm using mm -hmm. him as an example because I just like I, I've been talking about him today and I was just in his stream like a few weeks ago and I'll never go in one again. Uh, face swag. Mm -hmm. Face swag. I get a man. He has like usually 6,000 people watching. Um, but I had a big problem. I, I joined him right when he was doing... Right when he died, his his teammates were playing whatever. I don't remember. I think he was in ranked resurgence. Yeah, and he obviously was paying attention to to them playing. But when they died, he had like a ten minute ten minute span, not playing in the game, not doing anything, but sitting there. All he said was, "Hey, chat, what do you guys got? Xbox or PlayStation?" Ten minutes. That's all he said to chat. Jesus. I don't care if you have 6,000 whatever viewers. You can put it on slow mode. You can find something that somebody's asked. Because I know so many people. I look at chat. I Everyone everyone that goes on live stream, you can read the chat as well. Yeah, They are asking questions all the time. This and that. This and that. Like, what do you like this swag? What do you think about this swag? And you see him reading the chat. And he never responds to anything. 
The only thing they respond to, the only thing they respond to is donations. I have a big problem with that. And I get it, man. It's hard. It's hard if that chat's moving fast. But to not respond at least to a few people every minute, if you're not playing, Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like that is, that's huge to me. Like why would I want to go watch somebody if they're only going to respond to donations? Like mm-hmm. I get, I I yeah. get it. So like like I'll doctor disrespect. I mean, we're not we're not gonna yeah, talk yeah, about the situation. Yeah. <laughs> but he was fun to watch. Like he made it exciting. I'm, I mean, he was he's the only person I would watch, even if he didn't talk to the chat. But he actually talked to the chat once in a while. Yeah, but like he these. Would, uh, go ahead, go ahead. No, go, go. He would also like, to his credit, he would also get the chat involved in most of the things. He would ask like, guys, you think we're gonna meet him? Like, you know, you guys ready for the game? How you guys doing? Like all that stuff, and like, yeah, streamers don't do that unless there is no. money behind. I don't. It most th- of the time. I, I don't find any Call of Duty streamer. I won't call Doctor Disrespect the Call of Duty streamer. Well, he doesn't stream anymore. <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> but I don't. I don't see any of these top Call of Duty streamers worth my time. Yeah, I don't know. That's like, is that too. bad to say? Like, I don't. I'm just being real. Like, uh, yeah. I mean, dude, like. I I don't watch any. I watch Call of Duty YouTubers, but live streams. I watch Call of Duty YouTubers. I can do a YouTube video, but not stream, not streaming, not I streaming. Don't know. Because because it's not only you're just seeing someone play a game that you literally have access to, right? But you're also watching someone that won't even respond to you. It's like you're texting a girl that just will forever ghost you, bro. Why, that, why that's what I'm for- saying though. I feel like when you live stream, that shows what kind of person you are. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's a ghoster, yeah. Like, like if if I'm live streaming, I try to read every single thing in chat. All right. Yeah. Now there's times as where as best I can. Now that when like there might be a minute or two minutes between where I don't even look at chat once. I'm playing the game. Okay, that's mm-hmm. fine. I'm trying to entertain, but. When I see these guys just not even read anything except for, you know, when they get like these, these big ass donations, it's just mm-hmm. like $99. Thank you, brother. Then they're back. Like it doesn't fucking matter <laughs> like to them. Nothing. Like, holy yeah. shit. I'd be losing my mind. We saw it yesterday. Losing yeah, my fucking you. mind. We were losing mm-hmm. our minds. We, we were screaming we're so loud. The fuck, mic would cut off. For fucking both grateful. We're grateful. Mm-hmm. And I just, I just wish that could come back because I don't know. I'm not in their shoes. So I feel like they're at the point where they expect it because they're making so much money. You know what I mean? I don't know, yeah. but I just feel like live streamers show or YouTubers show their their true Real personality selves. when they're live streaming. When I get tired of of talking because I, I I exert a lot of energy. I don't care what anybody says. Live streaming is hard. If you got a lot of viewers that are active extent, in chat, in my opinion, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I'm talking about like when when you try to actually talk to chat, play, talk to chat, play, deal with the SBMM bullshit. I get drained after like two hours. Most of my streams are an hour and a half, two hours because I'm like, I cannot be at my top game to respond to chat because of how like drained I am. Because So I'm going to end the stream because I don't want to be like just sitting there like this. You know what I mean? Like, because I don't yeah. want them to feel like I don't care about them. That's not at all. I want to be my 100% best. And that's why I don't mind when people say Jinx, he's a part timer. He does four hours. He is always consistent, entertaining. I don't watch him as much anymore, but yeah, you know what I mean? I get like, what you're saying. Mm-hmm. He's always dialed in. I don't know, but what it's like this. Imagine you're paying to see fucking LeBron James and he doesn't perform your best. Like Le- LeBron, you don't ever as a, if you're someone like LeBron where you have, you want to entertain people or you want to do something for yourself or just do anything. You want to put hundred percent into it. And if you disappoint people like your teammates or yourself, you don't want to do that. Nobody ever wants to disappoint anybody. Right. Yep. So that's why, like, for me, I, I tweeted about this on Twitter. Um, a lot of people were asking me, how am I streaming for 14 days straight now without getting exhausted? It's because I end when I know I'm at my limit and where I don't feel like I'm entertaining a there lot of go. people. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. But yeah, like, I'd rather entertain people at 100 percent for at, like, you know, an hour or two. Exactly. Then for for two hours, I do it. And then the rest of the stream. Yeah. Chat. Um. Exactly. Yeah, it's, like that's the, how. Who's gonna watch that? Who's gonna click on the house? No. That gonna help me? No. And it's just a disservice to all your followers, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Um, but I think that I think that uh is one of the it's reasons a good way to wrap why, it up. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why I like you because I don't know, man. It's just it's awesome. Your energy is great. Uh, yeah. And your drive's there, so I, I love Thank it. You, dude. So, yeah, no problem. 
So that's, that's why I watch YouTube. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, bro. There was one time where I almost stopped, bro, because my views I, you weren't. talked about it. Yeah, my views mm-hmm. weren't as high as I thought they should be. Or I had like a four or five video span where it was just like it was not in my favor. But I was like, dude, I, I just got to keep going. And I ended, mm-hmm. I got in this personality where like, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to like the video. If I don't like the video, I'm not going to make a fucking video about it. You know what I mean? Like some people just do it. I got to like what yeah. I'm talking about. That's why I like doing mm-hmm. where I just wake up. I find a topic and I go. Yeah. And that's what I do. But I think that's a good little first video, man. An hour 40, something people can, uh, you know. Watch on a car drive. Yeah. Let us know. know. At the gym if they're walking, you know. Just hey, anything. All, all we need is you guys to let us know if you guys like the stuff. Yeah. Just and, input. And, and we could try to bring this as much as possible if you guys enjoy it. But. I want to thank you uh, for 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 your time today, Limbo, my man. Appreciate you too, um, bro. Appreciate. Yep. Okay. And um, yeah, I think uh, I gotta go feed this dog now. He's fucking right here, ready. <laughs> I gotta to eat, eat dinner, bro. Hell yeah, man. I uh, probably <laughs> gotta do bur- my bed. <laughs> probably another burrito for me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my I god, am a burrito man, fanatic, keeps going, can't stop, <laughs> can never stop. But uh, appreciate you all watching. We're gonna sign yep. out here. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, man. Peace out. Peace.